This story is entitled The Ouija Board at School by Kevin Tan. This incident, which took place more than 20 years ago, was shared by a friend. My friend's sister was playing the Ouija board and their mischief caused some trouble for the school. A bit of background first, our school has a tradition of painting murals all over the school compound. Even the toilets were painted with murals. Our second floor toilet at the main building was painted with a mural of a tropical island with sandy beaches and coconut trees. So the story goes that my friend's sister was playing with their makeshift Ouija board inside that toilet. They were careful to have both toilet doors closed to prevent themselves from getting caught by teachers. During the summoning of the entity, they heard the sound of high heels clicking down the hallway. and approaching the door. It wasn't long after they heard someone try opening the door. The girls knew it must be a teacher since it was the sound of heels. Being in a state of panic, they let go of the coin without sending the entity back properly. Her sister saw a shadow flew past her and went into the coconut tree of the mural. They didn't get into any trouble since they quickly shred the Ouija board and opened the door for the teacher. However, strange things started to happen later. Some students reported sighting of faces in the coconuts. As more and more students reported the sightings, the school engaged a pastor to perform an exorcism. The mural was hacked away instead of being painted over. A year went by and my friend, a member of the art club, was tasked with painting a new mural for that toilet. The theme was Seven Wonders of the World. It could be a sheer coincidence, but the Statue of Liberty was painted on the very spot where the coconut trees were. The face was positioned right where the coconuts were. I did hear some rumours that some students felt that the face looks like she's crying. Although it is known that some students would play the Ouija in the toilet.